And we have uh, Terry in studio. Karibu sana. Thank you, thank you, Mikali, for having me back. The last time, Mulekuja, you made sure that we are on top of the game when you want. Uh, you created an interest, fact, uh, fire uh, to start or get into real estate. Yes. Now, now that you did that, mm -hmm. today we are looking at some of the things we'll need and have to encounter uh -huh. in that journey. Yes. For anybody who's seeing you for the very first time on this show, Terry, please yes. introduce yourself. Oh, lovely. My name is Terry Nganga. Uh, I am a real estate invest uh, advisor, expert, coach, and a realtor, and also a director at Pro Property Hall Investment Limited. Mm -hmm. And I want to inspire and empower people to invest in the real estate so that they're able to meet their financial goals and to secure their desired future. Absolutely. Yes. And so, th for like everything else, um, there are challenges. There's mm -hmm. some barriers to getting a uh, good investment in especially in the real estate and today that is what we are focusing on some of the things that will be clearly a hindrance that you have experienced that you've seen other people experience and how to navigate through that yes where do we start wow the greatest is fear as in what <laughs> we put into <laughs> ourselves you know uh based even on the last show and uh one of the uh, things i'm happy about is that people have been reaching out to me in great numbers mm -hmm. but the greatest barrier i know to people is fear you don't to either lose out of money how do i start no do i even have the amount of is you know people perceive it to be an industry that uh, you've got to start with a lot of money yes but that's not the case i keep encouraging people can you start with whatever you have mm -hmm. can you first work on yourself can you first work on your thoughts because when you work on your thoughts, you will be able now to go uh, have the feelings and thereafter take action. Because actually, you know, I've got people who, you know, they, 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 they still uh, would love, love, love to invest in the real estate. Yes. But uh, we'll even go see properties. But the fear uh, makes them not take action. So you're already killing the dream before you even get on it or start working on it. Yes. You've already talked yourself down. You've already said you can't do it. You're already doubting yourself. Yes. And doubting the dream. Yes. And I always say, believe in yourself. And you'll be halfway there. I remember there's a certain lady I met, eh? And, okay, I met her now and she'd already made it in terms mm -hmm. of now she's, she's uh, having a uh, rental income of about 200000 mm -hmm. So, uh, I you know, chit-chatting and she gave me her story. Okay. Let me tell you that lady was once a hoka. Ah. A hoka in these Nairobi streets. You remember that time uh, when hoking, uh, people used to run uh, because by the city can't feel. Yes. Yes, she was yes. among those ladies. You could see. So, uh, but she had that passion. She had, she, she, she's always wanted to invest in the real estate. And she tells me, Terry, if there's one thing I, I love about myself is that I believe in my capabilities. I believe in myself. Even her husband was uh, also a hawker. So they did hawking, being chased up and down. Tear gas. Yes, they encountered all that. Then due to the persistent, you know, due to also that thing of, you know, when you start a desire, things just start flowing. That is true. She met, uh, so she did the, sub she did the hokin hokin, and one day a Chinese, um, uh, what, uh, do I say investor or a Chinese trader mm -hmm. uh, identified her because of high level of integrity and gave her wares. Ile, you go and sell, yes. and then I'll, uh, you'll pay me because they already known each other. She opened up a shop in Kamukunji, Bro, they started now now with the husband now selling to other hawkers. Okay. And right now, yes, she has a very big shop in Kamukunji. Yes. But she has also rental property. And her own home. And she was telling me, why it not that uh, desire, yes. the belief in myself, she would never have made it. So if we all started from there, can we be able to work on our mindset? That is the greatest impediment to owning real estate. People want to, uh, 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 we've got to star, you know, within ourselves, the emotions and things will work towards it. That is so true. And I like that you started with that one because uh, we could be pointing at things, other things, 
oh i don't have money but even if you got the money and you're still fearful yes you will not take the leap of faith you will even not. if you had uh, many terries talking to you and encouraging you but if you have not worked on yourself yes and believing in yourself then you will not be able to take it you won't so fear is number one and it's the biggest ah it's the biggest okay you'll go show people property mm. they are still fearful i say it's okay to have the fear but do it anyway yes do it anyway do it scared yes do the due diligence and take that action mm -hmm. you get it in property there is about uh, eight years ago i went to view some property in gong mm -hmm. an acre was going for four, five hundred thousand mm -hmm. and i had somebody who had wanted to invest then you know the guys asked now where, where is the next big place mm -hmm. where do i invest i was like okay let me check around i scouted gong i met them there okay then now the person just went cold and never to, uh, uh, you know uh, we never go to transact mm -hmm. and uh, a few years down the line comes back oh now can we go back the property of 500 my friend there's no property now of 500 you got the opportunity at that time that you did not seize yes that time the property was going for now six million and you know you still have your 500 yeah, now 500 will not do anything at that point so yes oh my goodness so it's try and seize these opportunities as they come but work on fear okay work on fear seize opportunities absolutely and at the fastest time possible okay yes that is number one that is number one uh -huh. the other one is i i want to finish on one of the, ch the challenges that we all face but the other one is lack of information okay uh you know that f uh, you're not um in the industry of real estate you may not have the t you know that information going to scout for for the land because that is not your speciality mm -hmm. so it has made people lose out on these properties okay but i always say we have people like me who have this information can you come back to us the real you know even your f you may even have a friend who is uh, in, in it, mm -hmm. come back to us, let's discuss mm -hmm. which property is, um, where can I buy property? And let us have realistic expectations. Okay. Because uh, w with the kind of, you know, p people come with that uh, information of like, let's say like five years ago, mm -hmm. for sure property has gone up. Mm -hmm. So there'll be, that price will have changed. Yeah. So reach out to us, reach out to people who have, um uh in invested or take your time over the weekend or when you have free time do what i call land tourism mm -hmm. <laughs> move around move around and get this information so mm -hmm. now when you have this information again be quick to take action at the end of the day be quick to take action but do due diligence okay yes. and if you're not able to do that by yourself then there are people out there who are willing and ready to help you because they have this information yes we do have that information because now by the time they get in touch with you they probably have made mistakes they've made a deposit to a land that is non-existent yes they have paid maybe three quarters of the money yes and that's when they start now looking for you yes and you can't reverse that yeah you can't reverse and i always say learn from mistakes yes yeah you you'll get situations you know if if, if you had uh, that failure of Yes, you've lost out money. Mm -hmm. Don't dwell on it. Mm. Move on. Mm. Move mm. on. And uh, because at the end of the day, we are talking about your future. And this future, I don't usually say it is 10 years. Mm. It's not five years. It is tomorrow. You never know what tomorrow happens. So can we uh, overcome? Can we be able to uh, learn how to do the due diligence? And then after that, you'll become an investor. It's not even difficult. That's it. Yes. The other one is lack of time. And we're going to get into lack of time after this break. But what you need to do is send in all your questions. If you've encountered any barriers trying to get into the real estate, um, investing, are you in it? What questions do you have? What kind of help do you need? Triple one, triple four, triple one. We'll be right back with Terry after this break.
Welcome back to Full Circle with Bukali. A very good morning to you. Triple one, triple four, triple one. That is our SMS line for you to be part of the conversation. Send in your questions. We're talking about barriers to getting into the real estate investing, getting into that field. If you're already in it, are you experiencing some challenges? Do you know how to go about it? Do you need help? Because Terry is here to help you this morning. And talking about the barriers, I stopped you, Terry, at lack of time. Please tell us about lack of time. Yes. Most people don't have the time uh, to scout for this land mm -hmm. because uh, it takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of time. I've got to move uh, from maybe one county to another, mm -hmm. even from uh, just within the county. But if you don't have time, we are there. I always say, don't put your, uh, the barriers to yourself. Mm. Reach out. And... Uh, we are going to be there to assist you. Yes. Because at the end of the day, that's my work. You work on yours. This is what we call delegation. Yes. Even the people who are outside the country. I tell people, let's say you don't even have to buy land from me. You've d identified land and you want to know the true picture of this land. Yes. Reach out to me. I do that consultancy. I'll visit the land. I'll give you the photos. I'll do you videos. I'll give you all information. At the end of the day, it's, you know, I'll be your eyes. You're like, okay, can I be able, is it uh, for immediate development? Yes or no? Because th there are these factors we look at. If a certain property is for immediate development, how um, is th the direction into which these uh, maybe structures are going? Mm -hmm. if you may send me to a certain property and your neighbors have done the Mabati houses. Yes. You do not want Mabati houses. So I'll tell you as it is. Your neighbors, we have like maybe five, ten properties that have done the Mabati houses. You wanted maybe something that is of the middle uh, income, income level. Mm -hmm. So I do that. So let time not be a barrier to you. Okay. Because we are there. Yes. I am there. Mm. Yeah. Uh, let that not be a barrier also, um, you know, being able to go there physically. If you're local, and I would just keep Kwenda, if you're out of the country, and you're looking to get into the same, that that can be done. So yes. don't limit yourself. Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. So that is noted. Yes. That is number three. What is number four? Lack of experience. Okay. People want, you know, you gain experience with time and experience is the best teacher. Mm -hmm. But if you've not, if you don't have this experience and you don't start, when you will you ever gain this experience? So accept to be handheld accept to take the leap of faith and start and then you'll gain experience mm. it also it's also the same with the developing of a, a property because mm -hmm. i always say yes continue uh, owning the land but based you know you need something that can give you also income in a monthly basis so divert and do development in mm -hmm. some of this property you have so uh you'll hear people saying how do i even um uh, get to the, the, have the permits, get to um, uh, s talk with the fundies. You don't even know where to get the fundies. You see, we've been in this industry. When we talk of real estate, no people think it is just land. No, it's not. It is land, the mm. buildings, mm. and the uh, minerals or the um, whatever is below the ground or above it. About six feet, I, that's what is ours. Eh? Yes. <laughs> that below the... Yoko <laughs> chini uh, gold yes. to achieve sirikali. Yes. So, uh, we, don't, don't um, put off uh, investing in the real estate. Don't put off uh, building because you don't have the experience. When you ever gain the experience? You know, some of these things can be so theoretical that you'll never uh, move in. Mm. So, let us... If, if you don't... If you want to gain the experience, dive in. Okay. As a swimmer, yes. if you want to uh, swim, you cannot uh, swim you from... No, you can't be saying how you are dope at swimming, yes. do how you want to learn to swim, yes. and or you're not the in there. The strokes, backstroke, you do it this way. <laughs> <laughs> You've not entered the water yes. in the first card, the gulps. Mm -hmm. you know, you'll all, mm -hmm. And um, accept that you'll also face these challenges. Yeah. Even when you start... Uh, uh, gaining this experience and learn from your mistakes if let's say uh, you you wanted now like maybe to construct mm -hmm. if two three bags disappear or even four 
you will now know how do I make sure that the next time that doesn't happen. Yes. But if you don't do it, how will you? You will never know. You will never so know. So you just need to start. Yes. Start and then pick up the lessons as you go. Yes. And ask. Don't yes. fear to ask. Mm. Mm. Don't fear to ask. You'll Don't save fear yourself a lot. Yes. If you do you ask. know, I even have people who are outside the country. Mm -hmm. Because, okay, why I say about it outside the country is the frequency to which they can be able to come and uh, see their property. Mm -hmm. Maybe even developing. Mm -hmm. And they are like, okay, can you be my eyes? We'll draw the, uh, the, the, the contract, the agreement. This is the scope. I'm not a professional, so I'll let the professionals work. But I'll, I'll, I'll be your eyes. If you wanted this size of a room, me to me, I, I'll be able to tell you, yeah, this, this is the size. With the technology we have, eh, yes. I'm ab you know, I'll do you photos real time. You are even on that side, we'll talk. So let uh, you be far from where you're developing. Let it not be uh, going to make you never invest. Mm. Because at the end of the day, you need to um, retire early. Especially if this is the thing that you want. If you're passionate about it, don't hold yourself back. Yes. If you, this is the direction you really, really want to go. Yes. Okay. Remember okay. the story I go to give you about my mom? Eh? Yes. She was doing it from her bed. Yeah. And she, co she managed. So you who is too whole. Yes. Why not? So what are you doing <laughs> about it? Yes. Why are you not doing anything about it? Yes. And that is lack of experience. Lack of experience. And that should not hold you back. It but people look at it you. as a barrier and they're like, Sijui, kwa hivu siwezi fanya. But unaeza funzo, unaeza shikuwa mkono. Yes. And don't listen to those people who have, you know, always uh, theoretical experience. Yes. They've never built. They've never bought land. And they are now telling you the way it has, you know, it's impossible. Mm, Try mm, out. Mm. Because there are success stories. If we've managed, who are you not to manage? That is so true. Remember, your thoughts lead to your feelings and your feelings will lead to action. Yeah. So what thoughts, what mindset are you having? Mm. We also have lack of funds as another barrier. Yes. We'll not, um, we cannot say that... Uh, Real estate is not capital intensive. It is capital intensive. But at the end of the day, uh, there's even a way you can own this land without having money. Because mm -hmm. if you're employed, you can pick a loan. That was not your money. That is true. I know somebody who once uh, bought property. A hundred, you know, they, you just go to the bank and uh, they got about, uh, about one million. Or, uh, yeah, one million. So by the time they finished paying, the property, because that's what he was saying, he paid, the amount he paid and the capital gains of this property mm -hmm. was not commensurate, as in it was higher. Ah. And that's why you see, when you go even with a, um, with a title deed, the bank gladly will give you a loan. Why? Because they know even if they repossess, yes. you had borrowed maybe two million and the valuation at that time was two million yes. or more. Yes. But even if they repossess, they'll sell it, they can sell it at a much, much because, higher price. Yes, because of the capital gains or the appreciation, if I may just say. Mm -hmm. So, lack of funds. Look for sources or other sources of income. Mm -hmm. We have gifts, we have talents that we can tap into. We have passion. What is your purpose in this world? <laughs> Start there. Look at what interests, what you can do effortlessly. And remember, we are limitless. Yes, yes. Jack Ma, uh, the CEO, or is he the owner of Alibaba? Alibaba. Mm -hmm. At 35, he said he was earning $10. Where is he now? $10. Yes, mm -hmm. because he believed mm -hmm. in himself. Mm -hmm. And he uh, took the steps. That's the same thing. And do you know he doesn't know anything about IT? <laughs> <laughs> but if your passion is, you know, Whatever, it, seek out what is your passion, what is your gift. You may be gifted in leadership, and therefore you can mobilize people and do something. Yes. So let s lack of funds not be an impediment to you investing in the real estate. Because at the end of the day, those who invest in the real estate are investing in it because they don't have money and they want to add more. Mm. We are we're not mm. investing in the real estate because we are rich. No. We are investing because we want to uh, raise our income. So we are starting... F from down here, mm -hmm. today, I always say a bag of cement, cement is between 550 to 600. 
if you for aware go, you you maybe said um, you will not do a pizza you're not going to eat meat two days that's a whole kg yeah so you're either eating uh, your kg or you're doing semen mm. Mm. so don't um, look at it that uh, I don't have fans, so I'll never own real estate. Like I was telling about that lady. Yeah. She managed. Find a way. As long as you, you're focused and that is what you want to do, yes. then you will find a way or there will be something that will give. It is Na pia kujinyima. Ah, that is the best. Mm, kujinyima too, if that is what you want to do. If, that, if you have set your mind on something, then you will forego some of the pleasures. <laughs> <laughs> So for you true. to enjoy something bigger and greater later on in life. Yeah, at mm. 60, why would you be uh, doing what you'd have done at 30, yeah. at 40? Because you're given, I always tell people you're given these opportunities. Yes. Just, uh, if you take yourself back, for those anybody who's ever wanted to, to invest, mm -hmm. rent and viewed land, they may even have had the money, yeah. but they just dilly dallied. Yeah. Then, come now, the time now uh, you want to buy. You're told, ah, that property, the, uh, the price now is at this. Yes. Or the, the property has already been taken. So and you've you seen something out. coming up, a very good building, and you're like, oh, I had that idea. But then the difference between you and that other person is that they actually did something about it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I don't know if we're going to talk about this one other barrier before we get into the questions. Yes. Mm. So we have uh, very genuine Terry's in the industry. <laughs> But then in the same real estate industry, there are also some not very good, genuine, you know, investors or realtors in the scene. How do you verify? How do you know that this is that this is good? Because I might have gone to them yeah. as I'm doing my due diligence. Yes. And uh, unfortunately, I land on someone who is waiting for someone like me yeah. who doesn't know a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll not um, shy away from these challenges. Yes. And I keep saying, okay, right now we are having them, but also I'm glad the government is doing something to assist us. With the Adhisa system, yes. uh, so many of these challenges. Zitaisha. Zitaisha. Okay. But before um, the digitalization is uh, done around the country, do due diligence. If you cannot personally or phys personally do it, have somebody else do it for you. And keep asking questions. Mm. Keep mm. asking questions. Don't shy away because at the end of the day, it mm -hmm. is your money. You have a right to every answer or every question that you have. Yes. Do the due diligence. And uh, look for people who have the experience to handle, especially when you're start, uh, starting out. And I always say, if you get a path without any obstacles, or that's a saying, if you get a path without any obstacles, it probably doesn't lead anywhere. Mm -hmm. So you'll get the risks, but how do you navigate? Mm -hmm. How do you navigate? The due diligence is, you have to do it. Yeah. You have to, either yourself or somebody or else. Or somebody else. Yeah. I've seen people get lawyers to just, you know, make sure they do a good search yes. on uh, the realtors, the company that is handling your business, uh, the helping with the land search and everything. Yes. So if you do not know a Terry, Pengine is an assignment after Terry. Yes. <laughs> and uh, also, I, you can also get involved. Mm. Be say, part of it. Be part of it. Mm. Because um, when you go to the minist uh, the land registries, you will get that person who wants to do you the job. Eh? Mm. But Abu Jaribu and C is Singumu. Go and hand mm. in your papers. Mm. What do they need for a, a land search? Mm -hmm. They need the copy of uh, uh, title, title deed, deed. the KRA pin and uh, ID yes. of the owner of the land. Hand them over. After a few days come, they'll give you the uh, the, the official search um, results. Okay. Now that should be your step. Go to be the part land. Part of the process. Go, go to the land. Walk around. You'll not cause uh, that person who is asking. And also, um, your gut feelings. To me, that one is um, the best due diligence. Because mm. even us, we meet people who are. Uh, because some of this land we sell is on behalf. Mm. And the way they approach us, the way they talk, you know, but the gut you're feelings, able to tell. Yeah, you'll be like, mm -mm, kuna kitu. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> don't, don't, um, 
don't take f for granted your gut, gut feelings. Okay. They play a big, big role. role. Yeah. We have a couple of questions. Some of them Zimijibi already. Okay. Uh, learning a lot. Great show. Mikali, I have a piece of land that I bought, but de developing it is hard because of lack of finances. The greatest hurdle is... Uh, the greatest hurdle even in getting land is brokers who blow up prices. My name is Irene. So, kuna issue your finances. Yes. Uh, they already have land. Developing it is what the problem is. Yes. And the other one is brokers who blow up the prices. Okay. Let me handle about finances again. Okay. Uh, she, Irene, at least she's taken the leap of faith. She has the land. Yes. She has the interest to build as well. Yes. Mm. So can she? you take the next leap of faith? You don't have to have, because uh, some constructions can take you all the way to 20 million. Some constructions can take you up to 5 million and have realistic expectations. Mm. You know, even a pit latrine will not take you to 10,000. <laughs> you will mm. not use 10,000. So don't uh, b blow up oh, your... Oh, really? Pit latrine, 10,000? That is, you cannot finish up your pit latrine with 10,000. Okay, no, you can't. Sorry, yes. Yes. Uh, I so, thought you were saying 10,000 is enough. I'm no, like, it is not. Oh, yeah. So you get somebody saying they, they have like, um, I want to build a structure of 500,000. Mm -hmm. It is not going to be possible. But when you start, I just don't know what happens. But you get yourself having that money flowing in. Mm. Because you, um, you're so careful on your spending. Guys are going out, you're like, ah, tomorrow the fundi needs money. Lord you know Lord so in one <laughs> way or another, you just get things just working for you. Start. Even if you stall, it is okay. Just start and you will see. Because I've not seen structures that have been abandoned because the person lacked money. Mm -mm. I have not seen. Mm. Most of the, you just actually even talk with people. They tell you I started slowly, slowly, and now this I is am where already. I am. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. but with realistic expectations. expectations. Yeah, so that you don't uh, put up uh, about maybe like 200,000 and you're like, this is going to finish a three bedroom. Mm -hmm. It is not possible. Okay. So you need to know how do I um, work my, my, my mads out, work in terms of... Um, B my finances, where else can I get money, how can I save more, and you'll eventually finish up. Okay. Uh, brokers. The brokers. Uh, every industry has a challenge. There is no s industry without a challenge. So it's, you've got, like I said, gut feelings. It akwambia to this mm. person has blown up. And also, you can just uh, check around other properties. Uh, at the neighborhood, how much are they selling? Mm. Because the price doesn't go to uh, the, the price difference is not too much. Yeah, yeah, from one proper within the same location mm -hmm. and within the f um, same features, because you may have a property with the same location, but mm -hmm. one is uh, sandy uh, or, or rocky, another one is cotton, so the mm. price might uh, be a bit different. One is further ahead, but. You, as you're doing due diligence, you're talking to the neighbors, you're checking out. Because um, let's say a place like um, uh, where? Membly on Thika Road. Mm -hmm. eh? uh, prices are about uh, maybe 13, 12. So if you've been told about 20, mm. you'll be like, no, no. Because you'll also scout for that information. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, what are the challenges one can face in real estate for a starter? Lawrence Mukaya is asking. Uh, I think we've mentioned maybe six yeah. <laughs> so far. If you're paying attention, then definitely you had the answers to that. And uh, this comes in a cut across from finances to lack of time, lack of knowledge, uh, finances, experience. experience. The challenges within mm. the industry. <laughs> yes. Uh, Terry, give me one advice that keep, can keep me going in the real estate investment. Like if you had, you know, to give the advice what would it be the advice mm. believe in yourself believe in yourself that mm -hmm. you can make it because you know even fear fear are fantasized experiences uh appearing real but are, they're not real. they're appearing to be yes they're not actually they're not actual so why work on your mindset mm -hmm. have an abundance mindset mm -hmm. that even me i can own that I can own, yes. not that um, these are the people who, you know, the people who've already removed themselves from the group of investors. Yes. 
through their thoughts, through their actions. Believe in yourself. Absolutely. Take action. Even the thoughts, I always say thoughts lead to feelings and feelings lead to action. Yeah. If you don't take action, my friend, you'll just be daydreaming. <laughs> and that's where it ends. That's where so it ends. So you're actually not doing anything to add value to your life or go after the dreams that you have in your mind. And Terry, our time is up. <laughs> I know we talked I, did, I know we talked about this and how it goes by so yeah. fast. How can people get in touch with you? Um my number is 0721-552-820. My uh Facebook page Property Hall Investment. Uh also through my profile Terry Nganga. And uh through WhatsApp Actually, I've been doing a lot of WhatsApp, especially for the people outside the country. Mm -hmm. And we've done tremendous, tremendous um, uh, in, uh, work. And I do coach people. Yes. So if you're fearing, like I have a session today in the evening yes. th for those who want to start. And um, I say, when I looked at what I offered, because I did it last week on Wednesday, mm -hmm. then there was a group that... Uh, some uh, they were not able to log in so i was forced to do a makeup mm -hmm. when i looked at what i had given them and even their feedback i was like that was the last time i'll charge that amount it has to go high because these you're gaining lifetime skills yes and the benefits are lifetime and at the end of the day the legacy you leave you will say terry was uh, part of it absolutely so how do we get onto these classes? Onto these classes, yeah. Um, just, just we, we can chat through the, numbers. the number. Yeah, just zero, give it again. Zero seven two one mm -hmm. five five two eight twenty. Okay. Yes. Even calling. If I don't pick your call, I always try and um, when if it's a day or two, because at times you know the, the the number of inquiries I'm getting are too many. Yes. And I thank the viewers of Switch. I'm telling you, the people who said, I watched with Mwikali, some people even called me Mwikali. And I'm like, I'm not the Mwikali, I'm Terry. <laughs> we are glad, we are glad, we are glad, we are glad. Let's, let's all get something. As long as you're getting something from the show, I think that is why we wake up very early in the morning to do this. Yes, and I say my vision is yes. to ensure everyone owns a piece of land. Absolutely. Yeah, because just in case you don't want to own, yes. please say I pick yours. Yes. But I want everyone to own a piece of land. Because what you gain from it, Mwikali, it is, you know, s phenomenal. Absolutely. And, it, you know, the compound effect of, yes. of, of, you remember the eighth wonder? Yes. If you just experience it, <laughs> at a tender or even later age, yes. you will never, never uh, talk about money issues. Terry, thank you so much <laughs> for sharing your wisdom with us. Na mkolaki ya mchajiwi ya pasubui. Lakini kama wanta get more, get it directly um kwateri atakusaidia so but if you are aspiring to acquire knowledge and skills that are relevant to the job market or entrepreneurship all you need to do is join kips technical college because it is one of the largest neck examination centers in this country and it is also a uh, premier tertiary institution that has been established and mandated to operate by tvet authority uh, kips is, is a lead when it comes to offering high quality technical and professional training because it brings out the best in all of their students their ultra modern la modern learning facilities highly qualified and experienced lecturers attachment leaders and office counseling all of uh, offices all of this they make kips your preferred choice they have a limited help loans that are available right now and the intake is also ongoing if you're looking to get into full time if you're looking for evening or online classes all you need to do is just get in touch with them for more information you can call them 0708184040 0708184040 because keeps technical college is your sure path to success we're going to take a very short commercial break we'll be right back